okay guys hi i'm in the uh, 747-8 simulator we've been talking about engine surge or engine stall and uh, i'm going to show you how it's presented on the GENX engine fitted to the 747-8 superjet i'm with my friend here angus captain angus how are you good, good. so um i'm going to put in a surge and let's see what it says but before i do that i want to show you something on the uh, electronic checklist so let's select the electronic checklist yeah and angus if you get me the checklist for uh thrust and normals and look for the one that says thrust engines yeah there's one there that says thrust second one second one on the top there see that thrust and any engine say number one thrust. Yeah. thrust mean so if it comes up there and says thrust to come up here to say thrust so what does it say for thrust it says inch one thrust condition one of these occurs on inch one the thrust is more than commanded thrust or the thrust is less than commanded thrust in other words in other words the engine is surging it's going up above the what's being demanded and coming back below what's being demanded so every time that happens you get a thrust indication on the ICAS okay so that's all it's telling you there's no other actions and the checklist as you can see there is complete okay okay remove that and select the uh, surge checklist please the one you selected before that's the one okay there's the engine surge now the engine surge number one say condition an engine one surge or stall that requires crew action is detected. So if it was engine one as it is here, engine one thrust lever confirm retard until the engine one surge message blanks or the thrust lever is at idle. So the point is you bring the thrust lever, you bring the thrust back on number one slowly. And as you do that, hopefully the surge will stop. So we're gonna do that in a minute because I'm going to put the malfunction in so that we do it for real. And then it says, check that RPM and EGT follow the thrust lever movement. Okay, end one thrust lever, advance slowly. Now this assumes at some point as you bring the thrust back, the surge stops. So if it's, if it's stopped there, for example, it assumes it stops there. And then it says, advance thrust lever, advance slowly. It maybe starts surging again. You'd bring it back to where it wasn't surging. And then if you go to the next page, Angus, page two, checklist. See what it says, it says, run engine normally or at a reduced thrust setting that is surge and stall free. If at a reduced thrust setting, do not use FMC performance predictions, transponder mode selector TA only. Okay, we would put TA only down here. Here's the transponder. So, Nowhere does it tell you here on this checklist next page. It doesn't tell you anywhere that you must shut down the engine. It's left to the pilots. It's left to the pilots to make that decision whether to shut down an engine or not. Right, Angus? Yes. So I'm going to give you that uh, uh, surge. And do you know what thrust is? There's no action in it. It's not, don't get confused with it. You just go for the surge and sort it out. Understood. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're on our way, let's see. I'll put the uh, malfunction in now on the instructor panel. If you reset the uh, non-normals, reset the checklist. Sure. And I'll put the uh, engine surge in now. So back here on the instructor panel, failures. Let's have a look, engine. There's engine, I've already selected that, so the engine we're looking for, stall, non-recoverable. Compressor stalls, unrecoverable. There's one, that's a compressor stall, and it's unrecoverable. And let's see if there's any other malfunction. 
nothing else there. Severe damage with vibration, N2, N1 and N2 seizure. Surges, recoverable. Surges, unrecoverable. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. We'll do the surge, unrecoverable surge. So it comes all the way back. Or maybe, maybe do the one that is recoverable. So we, we come back on the thrust lever and the surge stops and we then operate the engine at the reduced thrust setting. So let's try that. Here we go. Uh, try it on engine. It's always an outboard in the simulator, number four. Okay, executing that. And let's see what we get. Bang. So this ends the session. Ends the session. Shut this. Okay. Okay, there's H4 surge. H4 surge. Okay. H4 surge. Shut this. H4 surge checklist. Okay, H4 surge checklist is there. Go ahead, you can do it, Captain. So H4 surge checklist conditions and H4 surge will stall that because cool assistance is detected. H4 thrust lever confirm return. H4 thrust lever confirm return. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Until the H4 search message brings or the thrust lever is at idle. Yep. So you bring the thrust lever back very slowly. It's coming all the way back. Yeah, that's idle. So you message put it at gone. idle. Yeah. Message is gone. Message is gone. So, click the checklist. Check that RPM and EGD follow the thrust lever movement, H4 thrust lever, which it did, right? Yes. Yeah, M1 was following thrust lever movement. So we know that. You can click that. Next page. Okay. So this page looks one the H4. You see what the problem is now? Yeah, it's come back again. No. Why? Why do you think it's come back? Because the thrust is when you thrust is getting up. Exactly, you've got to take the auto throttle off. Yeah. Take the auto throttle off. So no, 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 just here. Okay. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And then move the engine thrust lever back. Slowly, yeah. Yeah. That's it. So now you've got edge four thrust. What does that mean? So you want the edge four thrust? Thrust check is for this one, yeah. No, you don't. Remember, we did the H4 thrust. We know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just means the thrust is not where it should be. Yeah. Okay, so we don't have to do anything there. Okay, and H4 so continue. So continue for this one. So what does it say? Looks on the H4 normally or at the reduced thrust setting that is a search and so forth. If at reduced thrust setting, do not use the FMC performance predictions. And at the transportable setting, TA only. TA only. Yeah. Okay. I guess it's a is complete. Okay, so we've taken the auto throttle out because every time with the auto throttle engaged, every time it wants to move the thrust lever, to move the engine that's we pulled back because it's surging. And every time it gets taken forward, it will surge again. So give it, just move it forward and see what happens. There you go, surge again. Okay, bring it back. So it, it obviously is only happy in the idle position. So we'll fly like this and continue with these like that to destination or returning and make sure that this thrust lever stays at idle, okay. that is surge or stall free, yep. right? One of the things we've got to consider, Captain, is if you do a go around. Yeah. Okay, if you do a go around, remember Just that, this, yeah, this. you're going to do a three engine go around, because if you use, and it's going to be a manual thrust, because if you use the auto throttle, that engine will come back forward and it will surge again yeah. and give you the same problems. So those are some of the things you've got to consider if you have this surge and it was recoverable but the thrust lever is at idle got to make sure the auto throttle comes out because every time it tries to adjust for the speed it will move all four thrust levers 
you can't deactivate just one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. The checklist is done. Thank you, Captain. Thank you so much. Yeah.